Hello strange people, welcome back to the channel and a beautiful day it is too here in uh, sunny West Devon <laughs> You're not going to say anything? She hasn't been around for a while, we've been a little bit busy um, so uh, she's decided to join well she had a little choice in the matter she's come out to give me a hand today uh, something a little bit different today we're going to be um, well I'll explain what we're going to be doing in a minute but uh, first off you might have noticed a lot of the outdoor channels these days have got themselves camper vans and um, long before any of them had camper vans I had something very similar and I've still got her um, she's 45 years old and an absolute mess and I'll turn you around and show you <laughs> so there she is not the tractors so that's Morva Morva means seahorse and as you can see she's a boat she's as I say 45 years old GPR um, What can I say about her? She's 22 feet long. She's got a beam roughly eight feet. She's roughly eight feet wide. She will sleep four people and she needs a lot of work. Long story short, let me just wipe the lens off a second. Long story short, she used to be out on the river and I used to use her pretty much every weekend or whenever I could. Uh, and then we had a huge storm a massive storm and uh, the mooring line broke and I got a phone call one day to asking me to go and pick her up at uh, Devonport Dockyard she'd been picked up by the police she'd suffered a little bit of damage but nothing too serious um, so I took her off the river and during the period that she was off the river we had the uh, Pandemonium outbreak. I'm not allowed to say that word. Okay. So we had the uh, the pandemonium outbreak, and I lost a little bit of heart uh, in wanting to get her fixed up. Uh, but I've sort of got my mojo back for her, and uh, I want to do her up. And I'll run through a few of the things that need doing to her first up outside obviously she needs a darn good clean she's got uh, plenty of moss and uh, al uh, algae growing on her up front this is where the uh, anchor sits obviously this needs refixing back on luckily I've still got it the mast used to fix up there but that broke in the uh, storm and uh, if you anybody's been watching the channel for a while you may remember if you've been watching the channel for a while that uh, my workshop went up in smoke and a lot of bits and bobs for the boat were in the workshop which included the mast which melted being aluminium what also melted or melted what also caught fire and went was the rudder so I've got no rudder now she got vandalized while she was parked at another place she won't get vandalized here we are quite literally in the middle of nowhere here this is it's a beautiful spot we're right on the edge of Dartmoor but uh, she isn't going to get vandalised here. So, things that need doing. We need new washboards. The washboards were kicked in. As you can see, the lock was kicked off. And that was all kicked in. The rest of it is inside, so uh, I will take you inside. Right, I've managed to clamber aboard. And uh, inside she is an absolute mess i was going to take you inside but she is 
full of water at the moment, as you can see. So what we're going to do inside, they seem to have had a fire in here at some point. This stuff is pretty bloody flammable anyway, so that will all be coming out as best we can get it out. Uh, the galley area, that's all going to get ripped out and changed. Um, and up front, all the cushions, all the mattresses, everything like that. That was uh, burnt in the fire. So well, she's going to need new mattresses and new cushions. She's obviously going to need all the woodwork replaced. She's going to need that girt big spider over there removed. Because we're not having uh, passengers unless they pay. All the woodwork's going to re need redoing really. And the windows want of a better word because they aren't really portholes the windows all need replacing as well so up here i'm thinking at the moment she's got a le leisure battery which is knackered we're going to need to replace the solar panel i'm thinking i might get one of those blue etties or something similar um and we'll obviously have the solar panels on the roof and have that to uh, power all the lighting and everything. As I said, that's where the mast was. Um, probably not going to replace the mast. That is a huge expense. Um, pretty sure I've still got the sails. Um, but I don't think we're going to replace the mask. We'll have to buy a motor because the motor went up in smoke as well. So we'll probably, because it is an, an outboard, this is a proper little sailing boat. She's got a raising keel, which is, which is what this is. The keel is actually raised at the moment, is, it, is inside. So she will go into some very shallow water. We'll put, get a decent sized outboard and put a decent sized outboard on her as well. She's a lovely little boat, plenty of room out the back here for fishing or uh, just sunning yourself. It's a, lovely, it's a lovely little boat, but she needs a lot of work. Now, I'm going to bail her out in a minute. I've got a small bilge pump here. I'm going to bail her out in a minute. And... Um, cover this up, try and lift us into more level position so that this doesn't fill her up anymore because you can lie on do the backstroke down there. Um, if you want us to film the restoration, we will do. If not, that's perfectly fine. Um, it's not exactly uh, the most interesting thing in the world. I'm not the greatest chippy, but I do have some skills. And uh, I also know a lot of people that have a lot of skills as well. And that rain is incredible. Right, so I'm gonna start bailing her out. Leave in the comments whether you wanna see us do her up and we'll film it uh, as and when we can get here, as and when the weather allows. And hopefully by spring she'll be on the river and we can get out and do some uh, little adventures on, on board her. Amanda's really looking forward to that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you can't see the view from here but uh, just over the other side of that hill is Dartmoor. Right, I'm going to get on because we're getting soaked. I need you to do is hold the end. Ooh. Can you see if the pipe's blocked yeah, at the yeah, end?
as you can see as quick as Simon is pumping out the water it is filling up with rain Well, I've given it my best shot with the uh, the hand pumps hardly touching the amount of water in there. So uh, I'm going to have to um, get come up with another cunning plan, get something else, some other way of doing it. Never mind. Like I said, if you want to watch us do her, doing her up, I'll bring the camera with me. Just leave it in the comments and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Hi. Climb time. <laughs>